Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys about a very important tool that you need to utilize while you're learning from my tutorials. Um, one of the reasons that I want to show you guys this is because this is actually the Microsoft C Sharp library and C Sharp was made by Microsoft. So who better to learn from the people who created it? Um, I can only help you so much because like I said in tutorial one, I'm going to be learning this along with you guys. So I'm going to be going, before I do my lessons, I always come to the Microsoft MSDN um, website to learn about it. And I go to a website I have up here in my, my uh, taskbar. I mean, I just, I research all this stuff first and try to get as much information as I can. Sometimes I figure it out on my own by trial and error which is always good but I like to do my research first and whenever you're learning anything it's always good to do your own research and learn a lot on your own and this is probably the best way to do it for C Sharp um, when you so to find it basically you can either just type in msdn.microsoft.com and then kinda of click around and look for it but um, the way I would do it is like let's say you just watch my tutorial on arrays and you're like I kinda get it but I'm not sure or if you get it and you're pretty sure you got it down and you just wanna see more examples to see where else you might use it because I don't do a t terribly uh, terrible amount of examples because it takes me long enough to record a video that just gets all the information and basic information in but let's say you want to know where else to use an array other than just to plug in numbers or whatever um, the MSDN website um, would be a great way to figure that out and what you would do is you just type in whatever subject matter it is arrays is one I used because I just made that video not that long ago and then you just type in Microsoft C Sharp and usually it's going to be like the first three or maybe even four links is going to go to the MSDN. Here's an Arrays Tutorial Programming Guide which probably just has a lot of code and it tells you how to use it and see definition array as a data structure. Um, and then here, go away. And here's just a link to the MSDN. Um, so let's click on this and I'll show you guys here. Okay, so okay, so it says arrays tutorial. The tutorial describes arrays and shows how they work in C sharp. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. And from here, there's all these links that take you to for each in loop collection classes. You can even go ahead and teach yourself collections if you want to. And then on the left side here, you can't really see it because it's cut off. But there's a hello world tutorial, a command line parameters tutorial, and um. I know for some people it's better to have the visuals, like have me coding, typing all the code out and then narrating it, because I, I would prefer to learn that way than reading it, but this is always a good way to make sure you get all of your information, because you can't learn everything by having somebody tell you it. Usually you're going to have to read some on your own. Um, that's true for everything, not just this. I mean, if you haven't learned that by now, then you're probably not trying hard enough in school or something but um, so this is this will be the best way for you to get all of the information you need and just not the inf not just the information that I am giving out and like I said I'm learning it learning C sharp with you so I may miss something that is on the website or I may purposely leave something out because I don't think I'll have time to put it in so I mean this web page just for this arrays is like ginormous it goes down so far and there's so much information they even have a byte array I mean that's that's insane that they even bothered to put that in there here's some code I mean it's just uh, it's so much more in-depth than my tutorials so if you can watch my tutorials and get the basic information down so you're not coming on this website and being all confused because you have no idea what's going on and then you can go on this website and just search it and be like okay now I'm getting some in-depth information I'm really understanding this concept so I hope you guys utilize this tutorial and just suck all of the life out of this website get everything you can 
and just stick it in your brain so you can remember it. This is going to help you whether you're just learning for fun or if you're just if you're learning for a purpose like if you got to take a class next year that requires you to know C sharp and you don't know it yet and you're just trying to get the basics down enough to where you can do it yourself um, just anything really this is always this can only help you so there's no way this can hinder you in any way so I hope you guys use it and I'll see you guys later